Bloom's Taxonomy, or the revised version that you see here, is really powerful in face-to-face -face learning, in traditional learning, but it's equally powerful when thinking about online learning. So at the bottom of this uh, pyramid, uh, of this triangle, is that the baseline thinking, the kind of remembering, recalling facts, and that's really useful, and it's um, important for students to learn content at times, but that's only as a springboard to higher kinds of thinking. So as we move up the triangle, you can see the, the thinking gets um, more and more complicated. For example, right up the top uh, is creating new knowledge or designing or building something new. So at a really basic level, um, this bottom level might be, if we're thinking about design technology, what are the different types of wood? Whereas create might be to design and build a brand new bookshelf. So what does that mean in your particular domain area? What is the activity that you're setting for your students today? At what level is that pitched and are they ready for that? So are they ready to analyze if they don't yet understand or remember? So it's a great pyramid to keep in your mind when planning your online courses. If you look at your entire week's activities and they're all remember, read this, we'll do a test, read this, we'll do a test. Maybe it's a, a chance to look a bit further up the pyramid and say, is there something else I could get the students to be doing with this information?